Hey guys, so in this speed test, we're going to be doing things a bit differently from previous speed tests. So this is the first test that you're watching. This is front facing camera and we'll be having more tests like this throughout the video. And testing out the image stabilization as well real quick. Hey guys, so in this speed test, we're going to be doing things a bit differently from previous speed tests. So this is the first test that you're watching. This is front facing camera and we'll be having more tests like this throughout the video. And testing out the image stabilization as well real quick. All right guys, let's go ahead and power both these phones on. Now on the left, of course, you have the Sony, on the right, the iPhone. Now the Sony, the world's first non-Google phone with Android Oreo on board. And the iPhone just upgraded to iOS 11, and that's the final version, not a beta version. Now iPhone's always extremely fast booting up. And no exception here, iPhone first one to boot up. And Sony up as well. All right guys, so all the apps close down on both phones. And let's go right to it. So first up we have NBC News. Actually, let me just put the brightness up a bit right here. All right, NBC News. And this is going to the Sony. iPunny. Now guys, I will be switching up the apps once the 8 comes out. So if you have a suggestion, please let me know below. And again, Sony there, YouTube. Once again, Sony here, and calculator, clock, eBay next, and Sony obviously doing an extremely good job so far. And worth noting, guys, the iPhone is one year old. Uh, the eight coming out in a couple of days here. Amazon, I think Sony there as well. And photos. Very close. Alright guys, we have Modern Combat 5. Oops, one second. Actually applied a 3D touch there for the iPhone. Alright, Modern Combat 5. Oops, I actually have this fast forward this on the iPhone. And this one going to the Sony. All right, guys, just a few more, and then moving on to more stuff. Temple Run two. And once again, we have the Sony here. So obviously, Sony doing a really, really good job. All right, guys, final app, uh, Ash 48. Once again, Sony here. Oh, and actually, looks like we have a new update here, so let me update that real quick. All right, guys, so for some reason, not able to update the game right now. Um, it may require deleting the game and restarting it. For some reason, this game always gives me trouble with downloading it. But if I do that, if I delete the game, it's one half gigabyte, so I'm not going to do that right now. So moving on to more stuff, we have in 2 do next. Now, 171,000 on the Sony, 169 on the iPhone. And uh, note, guys, that the iPhone, this is one year old, so an extremely impressive score. Next up, let's go over the specs for both phones. Both these have 1080p screen displays. Now, the iPhone is slightly larger at 5.5 inches versus 5.2. Uh, however, the Sony does have HDR. Front facing camera, as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, 13 megapixels on the Sony and 7 on the iPhone. And on the rear, the iPhone has a 12 megapixel sensor and a Sony 19. Now the Sony is capable of recording in 9 to 60 frames per second super slow motion, whereas the iPhone is 240 frames per second. 64 GB internal storage on the Sony versus 32, 128, or 256 on the iPhone. Now the Sony does have micro SD card support, the iPhone is not. 2700 capacity battery on the Sony, 2900 on the iPhone. Sony has the latest Snapdragon 35 chipset and 4 GB of RAM, whereas the iPhone last year's A10 chipset and 3 GB of RAM. Both these phones have stereo speakers, testing out in this video. Uh, they're both waterproof, although Xperia at higher certification, IP68 versus 67. Looking at the bottom on the Sony USB Type-C and on the iPhone a lightning port. Now the Sony does have a headphone jack, the iPhone is not. And looking around the edges. And once again, look at the back here. 
Both of these phones have excellent build quality, mostly metal. And let's go on with the rest of the test. Speaker test next. Now, great speakers on both these phones. Both of them have two speakers on them. Uh, on the Sony, they are front facing. On the iPhone, they're not. So, Sony first. And iPhone. Last time. Alright guys, so obviously the iPhone does get louder. Um, excellent quality speakers on both, let me know in the comment section below which one you prefer. Alright guys, going out the way for sure on both phones. So we have Chrome next. And I'm going to close out, go back in. And actually, I'll close out of Asphalt 8 as well. Okay, so first up, we have IGN.com. IGN. And this one going to the Sony. INDB.com next. INDB. And again, we have the Sony here. So two more, uh, Sony and Apple. Now, if you're, uh, if you're an Apple fan, let me know in the comment section below which web browser you use. Again, this one going through Sony. Um, whenever I make these videos, a lot of people say I should be using Safari instead. But I think most people use Chrome, so let me know again in the comment section below. And final one, Apple.com. Apple.com. And I think that was once again the Sony there, so overall web browsing does go to the Sony. Alright guys, let's do camera speed next. And bring in Shy Guy for this. Now in a second, after I do the camera speed, I'm going to show you uh, an actual camera comparison. Now, more megapixels on the Sony, but let's see how fast they are. And it looks a bit mixed here. Yeah, I think a bit mixed. Maybe the iPhone by a few milliseconds, but obviously very close. Guys, quick comparison to rear cameras on both these phones. And test out stabilization. And look at the maximum zoom as well. Figment scanner next. Now I do prefer the placement on the iPhone, which is right here. And on the Sony, it's over here on the side, but still pretty good placement on the Sony. So testing out the speed.
and pretty apparent here guys the uh, Sony is faster pretty easy win there all right guys we have multitasking mass and let's do one of the more recent apps let's do Temperanto All right, X1 on both bones, not reloading. And modern combat. Okay, reconnecting on both, X1 sign. And this one going to the Sony. Going back towards the beginning, let's do NBC News. And I think it may have refreshed on the iPhone, but uh, I'll write down both if I'm wrong on that. Alright guys, iPhone next. And this one going to the iPhone. Amazon. Again, iPhone here. And eBay. Going back into Chrome. Narrow edge there for the Sony. And let's do camera. Again, guys, extremely close on both. And final one, photos. Again, very, very close there on both. Alright, guys, so overall, that the iPhone did a really good job despite being one year old. But overall, I think this one does go to the Sony. Let me know in the comment section below if you disagree. Now guys, a lot more comparison to do between these two phones, camera test, battery life, and more. And of course, all the major smartphones coming out in the future, like the iPhone 7 Plus. All those videos coming shortly, so please subscribe for more. And you'll be pressing right there. Or you can watch another video right now in the bottom right. Alright guys, as always, thanks for watching.